Klopp explained the strategy for successfully securing the Salah deal to bring Mbappe to Liverpool. Glenn Johnson has suggested that Jurgen Klopp should consider selling Mohamed Salah in January to raise funds and potentially make a bid for Kylian Mbappe, using the money received from Saudi Arabia. Al Ittihad, a team in the Saudi Pro League, had previously made a substantial £150 million offer for Salah during the summer transfer window and is expected to make another attempt to sign him when the transfer window reopens in January. There have been discussions about the possibility of a £200 million offer that would match PSG's valuation of Mbappe. While Mbappe had previously sought a move away from Parc des Princes, recent talks with the reigning League One champions have focused on a contract extension. As a result, it is unlikely that the 24-year-old will leave for free next summer as originally anticipated. He can either opt for a one-year extension in his current contract until 2025 or sign a new long-term deal. Although Mbappe had been heavily linked to Real Madrid, that option currently seems unlikely, as manager Carlo Ancelotti has ruled out the move and stated that the squad is complete. Klopp is reportedly interested in Mbappe and would consider acquiring him if Salah were to depart for Saudi Arabia. Johnson, however, expressed doubt about Mbappe's interest in joining Liverpool but suggested that the best opportunity for Liverpool to secure Mbappe might be to sell Salah in January, when they can secure the best possible deal for the 31-year-old. Johnson stated, I could see it happening. Mo won't be able to maintain his current performance levels forever, and if Liverpool can earn a substantial sum for a 31-year-old player, it would be difficult for the club to pass up the opportunity. January could be the ideal time for Liverpool to sell, as they could potentially make a significant profit on a player in his 30s. While there will be significant competition from top European clubs and Saudi clubs for Mbappe, sometimes you need to pursue and sign the best player, despite Liverpool's usual statistical approach to transfers. Personally, I'm not sure if Mbappe would be interested in a move to Liverpool, and I don't see him joining the Premier League at any point in his career.